So what do you do when you have a student come in, you've identified their dominant core region, their playing region, and you want to know what size uh, grip size should they use when they do the express. Now, this is a pool cue. So Anne-Marie, if you'd please go to seven, eight, or nine. Let's go narrow to eight. So Anne-Marie's standing on eight. Hers, hers are already pre-marked, but this is how you want to test. Always start at the bottom. <clears throat> and you're going to move up slowly. Notice where her hips are, by the way. Are they, uh, where are they, Anne-Marie? They're all wide open now. Okay, Anne-Marie, let me zoom in on your hip line here. And Anne-Marie's going to slowly go up that stick until her hips square up. And she's able to feel the rotation, by the way. You're square. You're square, okay. Yeah. Are you on the red? So this, if Anne-Marie yeah. were an upper core player, to get to the region of 162, 63, 64, she's going to do the express with this size. Okay, now, let's see what size she would do the express with. Uh, now, while you have it on red, step to a mid-core grip. I'll go to the number four, which is just yep. one inch next to it. And where'd your hips go? Open. Well, yeah, they did. They went wide open, didn't they? Yeah, that's amazing. One inch, god damn. Yeah. Okay, now just let your hand slide up that cue stick until the hip, your hips square up. Should be pretty good there. Yep. Uh, add knee flex? Yeah, you're absolutely square. And, I'm and you do, head. yeah, ask your student to add knee flex when you... And you want to do this two or three times, so you're making sure... You know, they have their own cue stick. Anne-Marie, you travel with this in your bag, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. I yeah. do my exercises with it. Yeah. Okay, please step to one, two, or three, blue number. So all we're doing is we're going to a larger grip size. Yeah. And uh, relax. And no? I can feel I'm open. Okay, add knee flex, please. And you can see open. how wide open that grip size has put Anne-Marie. So now this down. will only work before you do all nine core stance, uh, nine uh, stance with in the core region. So, yep, let your hand go up until you feel the squaring up. That it's looks pretty, awfully pretty good. good here. Yep, that is good. And, and that's right on my blue Right blue. on your number. So, okay, that's good. Okay, you're only going to need one stance width when you fit your students. You are not going to need red, black, and blue as we have here. Just whatever core region it is, you're going to have them stand at zero in one of the numbers of their core region. And Marie is right now on one because she's on lower core. But if it were upper core, she'd be on seven, eight, or nine. If it were mid core, she'd be on four, five, or six. Now she's on one, two, or three. So that is how you're going to determine the size of the grip that you want your student doing the express with. And you only have to do the three stance widths of the core region with that grip size. And then you're going to find their stance width range.